that when the vice president was still in the tep ed that there is a rule a rule that she made no gift policy am i right uh, attorney Poa? yes your honor that that is correct yes. it's a rule no gift policy madam catalan dadagdagan ko yung pagka nervyos mo Uh, nag-iisip lang ako doon sa sinabi mo na noong binigyan ka ng unang sobre, sinabi mo kagad, ang tanong mo kagad eh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tama po ba yung pagkarinig ko? Yes, Your Honor. Bakit ganun ang tanong mo? Come on, tell us the truth here. I was requested, sir, in a nice way. The thing is this, uh, you received an envelope nine times, am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Is that not a form of pressure? Ms. Catalan is present. Yes, Your Honor, she's present. Rauna, Rauna Catalan from DepEd. Ah, please, Miss. Please take your seat. Uh, Ms. Catalan, for the information of everyone and the chair and this uh, honorable committee, uh, siya po yung isa sa mga pumirma as the head of the accounting department unit. Comsec, nakapag-out na po ba si Ms. Catalan? Ma'am? Ms. Catalan, nakapag-out na po ba kayo? Last hearing, nakapag-out na? Okay. Yes, please continue, Congressman Paduano. Ah, Ma'am, are you still with the DepEd? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, please uh, <clears throat> tell us about your present uh, position in DepEd. Uh, I've been the Chief Accountant since 20, 20, 2010. Until now. Until now. Until now. So... Uh, you're aware of this uh, liquidation report that was submitted by COA to this committee. And uh, uh, your name was affixed in this uh, liquidation report. And you have a signature on this uh, liquidation report. Yes, sir. So you, you're aware? I am aware of the face copy of the liquidation report, but the supporting documents were not presented to me. Uh, so, so it was not presented to you. You just signed it. It was. You're the chief accountant. Yes, sir. But it was just a formality that it should be covered by the liquidation report. But no, but supposedly you're the chief accountant. You have, you have check. But first, joint circular, sir. It was stated that the liquidation report plus the supporting documents shall be submitted by the disbursing officer direct to the ICPAO without any uh, presentation to the Chief Accountant. Yung ik ICPAO po, saan po department under yun? Uh, COA, yung Intelligence and Audit Office ng Intelligence and, Co and Confidential Funds. COA, do you confirm it? CR break lang po si Attorney Camora, sir. So, okay. I will wait for Attorney Camora. Uh, so, ma'am, are you telling this committee na ministerial lang yung sa'yo? Come again, sir. Are you telling us na ministerial lang po kayo? Pumirma kayo dito without uh, looking at the liquidation? Honestly, yes, sir. I will say uh, yes. Oh, di may problema. Because if ever a case will be filed against... Against... Dito po sa liquidation na may problema... Eh, pumirma ka dito, di part ka ng case. But then again, sir, under the joint circular, it was clearly stated that the documents and supporting documents to the liquidation report shall, shall be directly submitted to the COA. And she, it, it means that it will not pass through the accounting. Oh, GMC, uh, COA, pa, pakicheck nga, shall. Mr. Chair. Kung, Congressman Ako, you're recognized. Madam Accountant, mukhang mali yata. If you read the joint circular, there's a provision there. 
Teka, hanapin ko. Kasi may kopya ko noon eh. Nakalagay doon, under paragraph 4.16, in case of misuse of the intelligence or confidential fund, and depending on the participation in the transaction, the budget officer, chief accountant, the treasurer, and the project officer may likewise be held accountable with the special dispersing officer. So you can be accountable, madam. It's a provision of the joint circular. But then again, Your Honors, uh, per, provi per provision 6.1.8.4, uh, it was stated that the, uh, that the supporting document should be submitted uh, by the... No, it's not. So sorry, again. That, Min mali yung binabasa mo. 6.1.8.4? My apologies, sir. Oh, eh, kasi uh, mali eh. Okay. I have a copy of your circular here. Binabasa ko nga eh. So it was under 6.2, the liquidation of the cash advance. Uh, it was stated under 6.2.2, all cash advances for CF and IF shall be liquidated within 30 days after every quarter and for from the approved date, target date of completion. Submission uh, of the liquidation report duly signed by the head of agency or SDO approved by the head of agency together with the supporting documents under section 6.2.3 of and listed in the covering transmitter letter of the LR. This shall be submitted directly to the ICPAO in a sealed envelope with a visible label confidential for ICPAO only through any of the following registered mail courier and authorized license officers. So, uh, under this provision, it was clearly uh, stated or implied that the documents didn't pass through or were not reviewed by the accounting office. So how do you could reconcile that with uh, paragraph 4.16? Kasi ini-excuse mo yung sarili mo because of a provision of the circular. But the same circular says that you can be accountable. How do you reconcile that? It could be stated here, sir, but honestly, and as I, I, know, I didn't, uh, it was not presented really to the accounting office, the supporting documents. Hindi po yun ang tinatanong ko, madam. Ang tinatanong ko po, Dinidepensa mo yung sarili mo using a provision of uh, the circular, but the same circular states na ikaw ay accountable. How do you reconcile that? Kasi yun sa akin yung kopya ng circular ninyo, ng COA, eh. Kaya nga ako nag-intervene dahil ini-excuse mo yung sarili mo sa liability, pero the circular says that you can be liable. Diba? Yeah. You read 4.16. Uh, Wala pa yung kowa eh. May we know from the representative of COA uh, to be clarified as on the matter? Your Honor, uh, based on the documents uh, from our uh, confit team, confidential team, the liquidation report uh, that was signed by Ms. Catalan, certified supporting documents complete and proper, uh, as the accounting unit, but then if looking at the um, joint circular, 
uh, it, it, it's stated there that the liquidation report in Annex E should be signed by the uh, SDO, the accounting unit or the SDO, meaning SDO Special Disbursing Officer who, um, were, who was given the cash advance of the uh, confidential fund, the Special Disbursing Officer. So if she was not the SDO. Ano po yung sinisertify ng, ng accountant? Cert, uh, when she signed the liquidation report of the 37.5. Certifying that. Certifying that the supporting documents complete and proper. So pa, paano po ninyo sasabihin na complete kung hindi naman niya nakita? Uh, Could you please clarify us? Pa, paano niya sasabihin na complete ang isang dokumento kung hindi naman niya nakita yung loob? Parang hindi po yata match. Your Honor, it, is, it has to be Miss Catalan who will answer such. Ma'am, how can you certify something as complete and, pro and proper if you did not uh, verify what is the content of the documents? Uh, sir, it is a standard procedure that every liquidation document should be covered by a uh, signed uh, liquidation. No, but that, that is common sense. Eh. Yes, sir. Pa Paano po kayo magsesertify ng isang uh, dokumento na complete and proper nang hindi nyo nakita? Hindi po ba kayo nagtaka na nagsesertify kayo ng isang dokumento na complete and proper pero hindi nyo naman nakikita yung laman ng loob? Unfortunately, that was the case, sir. Did you bother to uh, ask the legal department or uh, the COA na bakit kailangan dumaan pa po sa inyo? Bakit nyo kailangan isertify ang isang bagay na hindi ninyo ini-inspeksyon o tinitingnan? It was one of the requirements, sir, and I was made to sign that document, unfortunately. Uh, chairman, I don't even ask... Uh, Congressman, Congressman Paduano, yes, thank please you, continue. And I asked Ms. Catalan, yung tenure of office niya since 2010 pa, and I think uh, uh, they're doing it since then, without checking the liquidation report. And, ano na po, pumirma lang. But ma'am, eto ngayon na nandito sa akin yung GMC, yung binasa mo is 4.2. Eto mama... Yung 6.3.3, ito specific mandate of each and every officials uh, is uh, covered by this uh, GMC. Ito, 6.3.3, the agency accountant. It's you, ma'am. Tama? Uh, and look at 6.3.3D, paragraph D. You are mandated to submit all disbursement vouchers for cash advance for intelligence and confidential activities slash projects, comma, with complete required supporting documents within seven working days from release of the check. Oh. Hindi ba pwedeng sabihin na you are not accountable? Hindi mo rin pwedeng sabihin na diretsong ibigay sa kawa? Because malinaw po sa mandate mo that you have to submit disbursement, vouchers, confidential uh, activities and projects with complete required supporting documents. Oh, within seven days. Can I respond, Your Honor? Uh, the 6.1.8.4 pertains to the uh, pre-audit of the cash advance. I'm telling about, no, that is not 6.8.4. I'm, I'm saying about the 6.3.3b. 6.3. Inconsistent with the provision that was read by Chairman Akop. Your mandate. Uh. 
Anyway, Mr. Chairman, it is on record that, uh, that the chief accountant of the DPET never bothered to check the liquidation report. He just signed it without looking at the details of such report. And it is on record, Mr. Chairman. May I respond to your honor? Uh, this is the first time that we have encountered cash advances for confidential fund. But for the regular cash advances for regular funds, we always ensure that the documents attached to the liquidation of the cash advances were complete. But again, for this, uh, this is the first time that we have encountered these cash advances for confidential fund. And uh, the procedure seems quite different, actually, and honestly. Yeah, but of course, you have the joint memorandum circular and there is a provision with regards to the mandate of the chief accountant, the SDO, and all other uh, officials of agency. Malinaw po yun, ma'am. So, I think once again, Mr. Chairman, it's like to put on record na inamin po ng chief accountant ng DepEd na she never bothered to check the authenticity, the correctness of such liquidation report, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, sir, uh, excuse me, Your okay. Honor. Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, may I correct the word not bothered, that I did not bother to check the completeness of the documents. Uh, during the time, no matter how, I maybe, this is the first time I may cash advance ng confidential fund, but uh, I was made to sign it. So, you were made to sign it by whom? Because it is a requirement that the uh, liquidation should be covered by the liquidation voucher. But that is, ma'am, that is your mandate. Yes. And your statement that you signed it without looking at the details, di ba? And that is on record. Yes, sir, it was. Uh, oh, ano, ano ngayon yung gusto mong explain? Sir, I'm trying to explain that it was stated sa joint circular that it seems or implied that. Uh, the documents, supporting documents, should be directly submitted to COA in sealed envelope. And that is your interpretation, ma'am, that we have read the GMC. Yes, sir. Oh, now? Mm. What? Are you telling this representation that I'm wrong, and Chairman Akop? No, sir. I, my apologies if you have misinterpreted what I'm trying to explain. No, I didn't uh, no. misinterpret you. You're okay. telling me that. My statement is not correct. No, sir, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm sorry, po. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I'm trying to explain on why I signed that uh, liquidation. Oh, who tell you to sign the document? Uh, Are you forced to sign the document? Not really forced, but I was... What, not really? I was requested to sign the document. Oh, you signed the document, but you never bothered to read this mandate of yours? Ma'am, who ordered you to sign the document? Who ordered you to sign the document? Not, not, I not really ordered, but I was requested by... Yes, who requested you to sign the document? Uh, by ASEC Shine Paharda. Sino po? Si Assistant Secretary Shine Paharda. Sunshine Paharda. Okay. Um, ASIC, sa anong department po? Uh, department of Education po. Ano, uh, specific na ano niya, position? Uh, office ng Secretary. The Office of the Secretary. But he was not the Secretary of this document, di ba? Only her husband. Tama? Uh, it was... Edward Farda signed it. BP signed it and you signed it. But you were requested by... Miss Marda? Yes, sir. Oh, Mr. Chairman, all the more that we have to... Uh, Miss uh, Sunshine Parda should be present in the next hearing. Para po patutunahanan yung statement ni Miss Catalan. Sabi na natin, you were requested to sign it. So why did you sign it? As per request of... Miss Varda?
Yes, Your Honor, because it is, uh, it is needed as a covering letter or covering document to the liquidation documents, supporting documents. Oh nga, pero sabi ko na nga, kaya ng statement ko kanina, you don't have to bother to check kung mayroon ka lang. Di ba? No, it's either it's your lapse or you were forced to sign it without checking all those liquidation report. Di ba, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, ano bang tama? Nagkamali ka lang? Nakaligtaan mo i-check? Or you were forced to sign it without checking the liquidation report? It's hindi po nakaligtaan, but uh, it is a needed uh, document in the submission of the liquidation Of course, report. I know it. It is a needed, uh, you have to sign it. But ang question is, Siyempre, accountable ka, ma'am, because of your mandate and your position, di ba? Now, inside, sabi ko na, nakaligtaan mo or you were forced? I was requested, sir. Hindi ka nga, nga. Saan ba? Nakaligtaan mo or you were requested? You were, I was you were requested na firmahan ka agad without checking the liquidation report? Yes, sir. Oh, di, Mr. Chairman, again, kung ano mang word gagamitin, requested ba or she was forced to sign it without checking the liquidation report? Ganon pa rin yun. Di ba? Ganon pa rin yun. Ma'am, ma meron po ako isang tanong. Nakakatanggap po ba kayo ng envelope kay ASIC Paharta? Yung totoo po, ma'am. Remember, you are under oath. Aside from your allowance, from your regular budget, nakakatanggap po ba kayo ng envelope just like USEC Mercado and Director Osias from ASIC Paharta? Yes, sir. Magkakano? Minimal amount lang po. Which is how much po? It's not even... Ano. Magkano po? It's 25,000. 25,000. Mm -hmm. How many times po? If um, you could recall. Three, three. Three, three, nine? Ilan? Nine times. Nine times. From what month up to what month? Let me guess. From February to September? I think so, sir. So, nung September po, dumigil na? Yes, Your Honor. Just like uh, USEC uh, Mercado. Tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor. So, thank you po. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, lastly, I'd just like to manifest, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, can I... Last yes. na lang po. Ma'am, actually, ma'am, talagang nawa din ako sa inyo. Kasi, oh, tingnan mo, accountable ka dito. Eh, sabi, sabi mo kanina, ni-request ka. Pero, ang labas pa rin, ganun eh. You were requested, but, tapos, medyo kalakaran na uh, may lagayan sa loob. Eh, well, kaya nga ako, ma'am, I want to just express my, ano, my sympathy to you. Nahawa talaga kami sa inyo. Napipilitan kayo, permahan yung isang bagay na hindi tama. Eh nga kung may kaso, pag lumabas yung NDA, yung finality nun, tatamaan kayo dyan. Ano po, sa, sa, ako, Mr. Chairman, sabi ko nga, nahawa lang ako dito sa mga, mga officials ng DepEd pag ganito yung kalakakaran. Ngayon, dalawa na. Eh, baka sunod, hindi lang dalawa. Di ba? Kaya, Mr. Chairman, at least ngayon, umami na si ma'am. Tama na ako. Okay na ako, Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, Senior Deputy Speaker, Don Gonzalez, you're recognized. Ma'am, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to address my question to uh, Ms. Catalan, ma'am, the accountant. Ma'am, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Siguradong dumaan sa'yo itong check-in na ito, di ba? You're the accountant. Yung 37.5 million. Tama ba? Uh, your Honor, hindi po dumaan sa akin yung check -in kasi uh, from... Ang napadala po sa amin ay voucher. Tama. It would... Meaning to say, the voucher is the basis sa preparation, preparation ng check -in. Di ba? No. Yes, and Your de Honor. And definitely, there is a date put in the voucher and they will uh, follow that date 
in preparing the check. So the check was signed by, uh, uh, of course, Yusek uh, Sibilia and Yusek Mercado. Ang napansin ko lang po dito, if you, in your recollection, uh, 2023 yung isang check, eh, that was February 20, 2023. That's number one check for the 37.5. Number two check, I thought this is uh, quarterly. Ang date po ng check eh, is April 19, 2023. It falls down to one quarter. Isang quarter lang po yung dalawang check na issue. Ang pangatlong na check eh, na issue po ng November 23, 2023. At tap, ay hindi po, na issue po pala yung pangatlong check eh, is July 11, 2023. In your recollection, tama ho ba itong check eh, and base on your obligation, on your voucher, during the processes of the vouchers into check. Parang tama po, Your Honor. Tama. So, tama ho ba yung tanong ko na per quarter at dalawang checky po yung ginawa yung 37.5 in one quarter? Tama ho ba? No, Your Honor. Per quarter po siya. Per quarter is February. February for the first quarter and then yung April for the second quarter. And then yung July for the third quarter. So tama ho ba? Opo. Okay. So that is equivalent to uh, 37.5 times 3. That is equivalent to 112.5 million. Number two question po. Itong uh, 125 million under Gina Acosta, ang date po ng check na is July 13, 2023. Alos nagkasabay lang po yung July 11 ng DepEd at saka yung July 13 ng OVP. Ang OVP is 125 million and the DepEd is 37.5 million. Kaya ang tinatanong ko po, wala na po yung land bank, umalis na? Umalis na po yung land bank? So, meaning to say, ang uh, July 11 at saka Yung uh, July 13, ang na-withdraw po is 37.5 million at saka yung 125 million. Tama ho ba sa, ay, hindi po kayo itik OVP pala. DepEd kayo. May OVP ba dito? OVP? Sa management? Ano po? Ah, wala. Kasi kung tignan mo itong dalawang check eh, isang mukha lang po ito eh. Two days lang po ang diferensya. July 11 and July 20, 2023 of the amount of 37.5 and 125 million. Kaya tinatanong ko po sana yung land bank, kaso wala, wala na, next hearing ko na lang po, Mr. Chairman, tanungin. Kasi tatanungin ko siya kung paano niya na-withdraw itong tatlong cheque at saka itong 125 million. So, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Thank Chairman. you. Thank you, SDS. Chairman. Uh, Interject yes, uh, uh, Congressman Lara, please. Yes, yung tanong chairman ni SDS Dong para sa OVP. I think nandito si attorney po kung baka pwede niyang uh, sagutin yung tanong ni ano ni ni DS Dong. Mr. Chair? Yes, I nandito ang OVP, former ano din naman. If, Mr. Chair, if I may be recognized. Um, Wala pa po kasi ako sa OVP nung ano po, 2023. I was with DepEd at that time, sir. So, I really wouldn't know kung ano yung nangyari dyan. Ah, ano po kasi dating, na, na, nakita ko lang po itong check eh. Apo. Na yung date kasi halos magkapareho po yung date. Yeah, apo. So, July 11, 2023, yung last check, the 37.5. At saka July 13, 2023. yung 125 million. Apa. So meaning to say malapit. Apa. Summation of that two equivalence to sum. Yes, yun po yung sinasabi. But uh, yun po. Unfortunately, sir, I I only I got out of DepEd nung nag-resign si VP which was uh, already July 2024. Andito pala yung land bank. Yes, sorry na. Diyan na po yung land bank. Uh, yes, uh, sorry ma'am, nakabalik kayo, di ba? Magtatanong ko lang sana kung uh, Itong Edward Paharda, kasi po ako nagtanong to last hearing, uh, di ba yung cheque, papayin ka, kasi ka yung branch manager, di ba? 
Pag ipapahingkas po yung check, eh, nakaprepare yung pera, bigay mo sa counter. Pag binigay mo sa yung pera sa counter, may papipirma po kayo sa kanya, di ba? Yung receive the amount of this. And sa likod ng check, eh, pipirma pa po si Mr. Pajarda. Tama ho ba? Yes, sir. The client will sign as uh, acknowledgement na and the, at the back of the check. Yung check eh. uh, the, the cash. The cash. So, pwede nyo kami bigyan ng receiving copy. Nung tatlong uh, receiving copy ng from Land Bank. Yung 37.5 million. We will check our records, Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Tapos, ma'am, number two. Itong uh, kay Gina Acosta na 125 million Uh, sabi nyo kanina sa show Bolivar po ito, pinahingkas. Pwede po, uh, yung sino nag-receive nitong uh, uh, July 13, 2023, na pinahingkas po niya yung 125 million. At yung July 11, na pinahingkas naman ni Edward Parda under your brands. Para ipagsusog lang po natin yung dalawang check -in. Pwede ba? We will check our records, Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask the question to Ms. Catalan. Uh, do you realize your accountability on this and consequence of what you did, Ms. Catalan? Yes, Your Honor. I would like to ask once again, were you requested or were you pressured? <clears throat> I was requested, sir. You were requested. You were not pressured at all. Come on, tell us the truth here. I was requested, sir, in a nice way. The thing is this, uh, you received an envelope nine times, am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Is that not a form of pressure? <clears throat> Honestly, sir, the first time I, I met or I talked with... Have you ever asked, why are you being given an envelope? Yes, sir, I asked her. But What was the answer? It's just an allowance from the, from the vice president. Was that? It was just an allowance from the vice president. Actually, I asked is that, is allowance. That, is that uh, liquidated or is that recorded or is just given to you? Because it's a bit different when you say allowance and uh, it's just an envelope given to you. Am I right? Sir, uh, the first time I receive it, I honestly asked as Asex Shine, Ma'am, uh, is it part of the confidential fund? Sabi niya, no. It was just an allowance from the vice president. So, for me, honestly, I receive it, knowing okay. that it was not part of the who, who confidential gave you fund. That? Who gave you the envelope? Uh, Asex uh, Sunshine Fajarda. Who requested, who requested you to sign the uh, the uh, accounting report it was also asek shine farda therefore if it was asek farda who requested you as you said to sign and she is also the one that you gave that gave you the envelopes would you not think that it's a form of pressure on your part uh, come on but please tell us the truth here because luca uh, <laughs> I think you know what I mean, isn't it? I do not think that you are going to receive envelopes from the same person that requested you without you, without you realizing the pressure of signing it. Uh, Ms. Catalan. Your Honor, uh, at, the first, uh, at the first giving of the envelope, I honestly and... Uh, as ASIC Shine, if it is part of the confidential fund, sabi niya, hindi, this is just an allowance from the secretary. So I, I trusted her word for that, and without any thinking, it was really part of the confidential fund, honestly on my part. So I receive it honestly on my part, without any uh, it was part of the confidential fund. I am saying this to you because, alam mo, talagang uh, na And I, uh, my heart goes out to you, uh, Miss Catalan. You know, uh, I think it would be would be best that uh, you know, in your own heart, you have been pressured because you received the envelopes. Eh? 
They're not only being requested. You have been pressured because you receive envelopes thinking that they are just allowances, but you know it is never recorded. It is not part of the budget that was given to the to, to the uh, to the OVP or the Secretary of Education. It's not part. Did did you sign a voucher for it? No, no, no. no. See, I mean. So what what I'm saying is this: those nine envelopes you received is a form of pressure on your part or on the part of the same person that asked you to sign Ms. Catalan. Am I right? Yes or no? No. Yes or no? Uh, maybe, Your Honor. No, it's not maybe. It's, it's yes, isn't it? Am I right? Maybe, Your Honor. Am, am I pressuring you now? Am I pressuring you now? I'm so nervous right now, Your <laughs> Honor. <laughs> the Chair. Uh, the Chair would like Mr. to Chairman. recognize the, honor, the presence of the Honorable Jude Asidre, the Deputy Majority Leader from Tingog Party List. Mr. Chairman, yes, uh, uh, this Mr. will Mr. be Barnes. my last uh, manifestation, Mr. Chairman. Just I want to put in the record that uh, in today's hearing, uh, Ms. Catalan, uh, the head uh, accountant, chief accountant of uh, the Fed, admitted that he, indeed uh, he was as the term being used by her is uh, being requested to, to sign, but of course, uh, tumanggap din po ng extra uh, si uh, Ms. Catalan. Now, but in the previous hearing, Mr. Chairman, I just want to put in record that it is not only Catalan no, na tumanggap ng, ng sobre. Uh, Attorney Restiwases, or Osias, also admitted. Now, even Attorney Michael Wesley Poa, nandito ngayon, admitted also, but that, that was uh, December, only December. But he still admitted that he received some, some amount from, from the Vice President. And of course, Miss Gloria Jumamil also, uh, Mercado. Si Ma'am, bit-bit niya pa yung ano, mga sobre, no? yung original na mga sobre. At nandito ngayon, no? in possession natin. And of course, lahat na to is galing from Miss Sunshine Farda na na uh, yeah, ni BP at the same time asawa nung SDO uh, ng Office of Vice President in relation to confidential fund. So as of now, apat na po apat na po ng mga officials ng Vice President na umamin na tumatanggap po ng, ng sobre galing sa Vice President. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all. Mr. Cong Chair? Congressman Sia, Alonso. I, 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 I yield to the senior. And, yes, I just uh, have a few the, questions, but I yield to, uh, of, uh, Congressman but I yield to Chairman. The Chair would uh, like to recognize Ako. Congressman Ako. Thank you. Uh, Madam Catalan, dadagdagan ko yung pagkanerbiyos mo. Uh, Nag-iisip lang ako doon sa sinabi mo na noong binigyan ka ng unang sobre, sinabi mo kagad, ang tanong mo kagad eh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tama po ba yung pagkarinig ko? Yes, Your Honor. Bakit ganun ang tanong mo? Because honestly, I'm wondering ba't ako bibigyan And during, Ngayon, uh, it honestly, was after the, nagtanong ka kung bakit ka binibigyan. Ano ang sagot doon sa tanong mo na yun? But I was made to understand by uh, ASEC China, it, 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 it is an allowance from the secretary, from the secretary. 
kayo po ay accountant, di po ba? Matanong ko po kayo, saan po nang galing na, na pondo, ang source of fund, nung allowance na binigay sa inyo? Well, I didn't have the, I didn't have the, uh, the courage to ask for that. Anyway. Wait, tinanong mo, you had the courage to ask, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tapos hindi, you did not have the courage to ask, saan galing yan kung hindi galing sa confidential fund? Di po ba? Sure, Honor. Di ba? May lakas kang loob na tanungin, uh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Pero hindi mo tinanong nung sinabi niya, hindi galing sa confidential fund yan. Saan galing? Di ba dapat yun ang sunod na tanong? Following your line of questioning. Kasi, madam, it is irrelevant whether you are aware of uh, what you have signed or not. Kasi under the circular, you can be also liable. You cannot escape that. Kasi sa dami ng inimbestigan ko, basta nakikita yung signature na nandun yung signature, papailan ka ng kaso ng investigador. Yeah. Di ba? Kaya nag, nagkukuha na ako dun sa kwan eh. You were brave enough to ask kung galing sa confidential fund. Kasi nasa isip mo na dun sa pinirmahan mo, dun manggagaling yung pondo na binibigay sa iyo as an allowance. Di ba? Yun na napasok sa isip mo eh. Na binigyan ka ng allowance sa pagpirma mo nag, uh, dahil sa confidential fund. Sa pag-clear o liquidate ng confidential fund. Di ba, Iha? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And you didn't know that because of your signature, pwede kang lumubog. Tama? Iha? Yes, Your Honor. Sige. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. You. Chair, with the indulgence of uh, Congressman Adyong, uh, in Congressman relation Labante, to what uh, right, Congressman nice. Akub said, I remember um, some years ago, uh, Mr. Chair, that when the vice president was still in the tep ed that there is a rule a rule that she made no gift policy am i right uh, attorney Chikopoa? yes your honor that that is correct your honor. that's the rule no gift policy do you remember that miss catalan yes your honor so why is she giving envelopes if the rule in her office is no gift policy, therefore, even the vice president would think that whenever a gift is given, that's bribery. That is subtle bribery. Ms. Catalan. Maybe. Not maybe. 